Okay, so it's Monday. We are sort of coming out of lockdown here in Wales. Oh my god, that hot, hot, hot. So I'm coming to you on this burger in the centre of Cardiff. And um, this is £12. However, most of the chip has got that burnt smell to it. That sort of. Yeah. What they've done is ramped up the frying because they're busy and burnt half of them. I mean, just taking a look at the burger, this does not look like a organic fresh burger laden with pickles. Oh, there's, there's pickles. Yeah, no. It could be nice. They've got skin on, but no. No, no. Let me know. And all like scrag and chips as well. Another thing I really dislike as well, that if you're going to come and get a burger, see the knife? How am I supposed to cut that with that? And it doesn't even look like it's particularly clean. But, um, yeah, I'm having to whisper and be a bit surreptitious. Sorry. Oh. <sighs> this is depressing. I will say one thing. The burger is quite nice. I could know a bit more seasoning, but cooked to perfection for me. The lady did come across says everything okay, and I, for once, wasn't British and sad about the chips were being... Well, that's a fairly depressing way of chips, but I'm enjoying the burger. Well, they've sent me new chips. Um, they're still roasting hot, so they've obviously got to fire up way, way, way too much. You can actually see where they're starting to burn, and you can smell that they're starting to burn. Um, they keep sending someone out to come and clean the tables, uh, even though there's actually been no one at the tables that I'm around. And out in the corner of my eye, I can see them looking over, which is quite funny. But mm. they said they had new chefs. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The burger was damn nice, but yeah, new chefs, typical. Turn up the fat, get it scorching hot, cook them as quick as possible instead of having two fryers and swap them between them so that they keep it a consistent temperature and you're not just making them cold. I learned that from Bar Rescue. One of my guilty pleasures. The end result. Uh, there were a lot more edible chips that time around than the first one. The burger wasn't actually too bad. Uh, there's another place called the Grazing Shed that I'm going to try maybe next week uh, to compare. But it's just a shame that you know, when you've got the integral part of burger and fries is the fries and they came out scalding hot. Yeah, it's just a bit disappointing. So all in all, that meal costs £12 for the food. But that pint of lager there was a whopping £5.15. If you're uh, viewing this, Mr Madden, how much does a pint cost in that there London? Right, I'm going to go for a quick half an hour walk and try and burn some of this off so I stand a chance of getting to sleep. So it is half past 11 on a Monday and it's been ages since you would see the streets this busy uh, I haven't taken any footage of going through town because I'm not that brave and it's oh, it's really interesting to see it's like it's mad just think this time last week this would have been dead lights off all that sort of stuff thankfully not too much in the way of argy bargy but uh yeah, it's going to make doing videos a little bit more interesting with the amount of people around. The thing I would say about Cardiff is there seems to be a huge jump in the people that are obviously on some sort of weird substance. Uh, and unfortunately, are being increased to the amount of homeless people back on the street begging for money. And sadly, it's hard to tell the difference between those who generally want a bit of money for some food and others for more uh, yeah 
illicit means, if that makes any sense. So there we are, the first Friday, sorry, Monday, and a lockdown. And now I'm gonna go find, try and find somewhere to sleep.